Look at that giant fucking wing. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, what's going on YouTube? One only extra I'm here. Uh, it's a little bit warm today. The, my group I normally ride with went out at like seven o'clock this morning. And I'm like, I got up at six. Oh man, there's no way. No way I could function. Yeah, so I decided to ride in the heat. I think uh, the wife and I are gonna go on a cruise later tonight. But what are we doing today? Uh, I'm gonna take a quick little run up the mountain. Not too far, not too quick. It's, it's been crazy. So a couple nights ago, I tried to do some night vlogs and I didn't like the camera. I didn't like the, the footage that I got. It was very shaky, very grainy. And uh, I've been trying to figure out some settings for, you know, nighttime, night riding. Not necessarily night, but like low light as the sun sets, times like that. Uh, because out here in Arizona, the colors are beautiful and you know, it's cooler, so you want to ride during those times. Um, it's just the video sucks. So I think I found some settings I'm going to play with, probably tonight, and see how that goes. You know, I've tried different lenses. I put on a yellow lens thinking maybe, you know, it's a, it takes some colors out and bring some different colors in, and it literally just turned everything fucking yellow, and it made it worse. So, yeah, we're not... Uh, I'm not going to use those particular videos, unfortunately. They're good vlogs, but uh, I still like the quality of the video, and I just can't put something like that out if I don't like it. Because I am trying to put some more content now that my uh, school is finished. I have time to actually do videos, I have time to ride around and do stuff before work uh, and whatnot, so that's plus. To the other dilemma that I'm at, right now is I I'm at a crossroads of sorts with bikes and cars and stuff like that uh, I'm, I'm used to having I'm used to having cars like the Hellcat or SRT Challengers and whatnot so to have the Jeep that I have uh, is just it's just not the same you know my i don't feel like me i don't feel i don't feel right i don't, I don't feel right right i don't feel right I, so i need something different and i've been looking at what i can get for a decent price slightly used and you know i've my, my ultimate goal is to go exotic, to go McLaren or even um, an R8, which I don't know if I consider that quite exotic. But I, I like the platform. I like what you can do with them. And especially the V10. Shippy Racing out in California does amazing work with R8s. And that's where I go once I get one. But again, I don't know that that's right now the route I'm going to go. So, I, I love muscle cars. I like the bigger cars. Uh, and I love, you know, the Challenger body style. But lately, I've actually found myself liking Camaros. Which is weird, because I, I really haven't liked them for a long time. I don't like the body styles. I haven't liked the way they looked. Except for recently. Like 2016 and newer. Although the 2020, 2021, whatever they did to the fascia for the like the SS, I'm not a fan of. But what I've been looking at are the ZL1s. And I am really liking those. The more I look at them, the more I like them. And it can pick some up for under 50 grand. You know, again, years like 2017, 2016s, uh, with low mileage. So I don't know, I might go that route. We'll see. What's this person doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it's one fucking lane. So we'll see. I, I think I, I don't have a, I'm not a brand stop. Like, I don't only like Dodge or Mopar, no car, or anything like that. I just like Challengers. You know? But I also like ZL1 Camaros. I think they're good looking, I think they're solid cars. So that may be the route I go next. 
the other cars I've been looking at are again are the Challengers with the Hellcat wide bodies. And I don't know if you've ever seen this color, but there's a new color that came out with Hell Racing. And normally I hate, she's on her fucking phone. Normally I hate uh, purple. And I don't hate purple, I'm just not a fan of solid Barney purple. I'm not, a, I don't like the way those look. But this Hell Racing is like this really deep reddish purple that is quite gorgeous honestly and I think is a very unique color and would be ah fuck would be a color that I would I guess stand out with like the B5 blue stood out a good bit so that's that's another reason why I love that color so that hell raisin wide body Hellcat Challenger Hellcat uh, with what they have is brass monkey rims that combo looks so fucking good together And I haven't really seen any anywhere so I Think it'd be really cool to get but again that car brand new is 72 73 with a spec the way that it had spec so do I want to spend that much money? Uh, not really. Especially knowing that they how much they depreciate. So I'm not really a fan of uh, things that depreciate that quickly. So we'll see. We've got a lot of options here. Come on. Man, I get some petrol before I go up the mountain here. Alrighty, so now that I got some gas. I was saying uh, that Challenger Wide Body Hellcat and Hell Raisin with brass monkey rims is fucking on point, but again, it's a 72, 74 grand. And the way they depreciate, nah, I don't know. I'm kind of okay now with buying used vehicles. You know, since everything I bought, oh God, going back to like 2011 has been brand new. Uh, I'm kind of over losing 40 grand in the first year <laughs> you know so let's uh, see what I can pick up and see what I can find again there's another thing I'm looking at is different bikes and not necessarily selling all of them I might sell the Aprilia as, as good as that bike is uh, I, I'm, I'm not in love with it in the way that I have been with all of my Ducatis uh, it's such a good riding bike but it, I don't know, it's just some character, some fear that's involved with it that, that I don't have when I ride these bikes. So, and I, and I want a different bike other than uh, a bike like this, uh, a su uh, super bike, su uh, sport bike, something as, as aggressive as this. And that's why I've been looking at something like, you know, the V4, Street Fighter, um, a lot of NV Augustas, there's about three or four NV Augustas I've been looking at. Yes, I'm going to still stay Italian. Although, Triumph has a few bikes that are pretty badass looking. Uh, like the thrust in, I like how that bike looks. So, I don't know. There, there's a lot of stuff out there. But uh, it's still got to be powerful. It's still got to handle like crazy. It's got to have a lot of character, which is why like the NVs are calling me more than anything right now. Again, other than a V4 Street Fighter, but I already have a V4. Uh, keep going with that range. Yeah, because I've thrown around the ideas of selling the Prilly and picking up a 1299 again. It's just because I I miss my anniversary. I love the rawness of that bike. Is, it, is this an easier bike to ride than uh, the Anniversario? Absolutely. It's more refined, it, it's definitely more controllable, but that rawness is what brought me into this brand and what I love about it. And to have it toned down to a degree again, uh, I don't know, I kind of miss it. So I'm kind of at odds with what bikes I want. So let me know what you think. What are your guys' uh, favorites? I know I have a lot of inline four fans uh, i know i have a lot of kawasaki yamaha fans and i'm not knocking them at all because they are phenomenal machines as well 
what, what type of bikes, if you can want to stay in the genre, especially you naked bike guys, if you can stay in your genre of a naked bike, but had a little more money, or honestly, I don't know if it's money related, it's more taste related. What is your dream naked bike? You know, what? which one do you find that you go, yeah, that would be the ultimate naked bike for me. Let me know what you think down below. And then, car wise. Uh, I know this is mostly a motorcycle channel, but you know, I, I am all, I'm a motorsports fan, period. And cars are my very much tied with first love, aside from motorcycles, for different reasons. And what do you guys think? What do you think about the uh, ZL1 Camaros? He said, I haven't liked Camaros for a long time. I am not a Mustang fan. <clears throat> the GT500, sure, the 350, GT350, 350Rs, they're incredible as well, but, hello. <laughs> well, that was funny, that was my parents giving me a call, as they always do on Sundays. So, again, let me know what you think. Tell me, uh, car-wise, what do you guys, what do you guys think? What, uh, what tickles are fancy? I'm torn. It's like I can wait and do the R8. I can do something relatively soon for the Camaro. Or I can wait a shorter amount of time than the R8 and do a Challenger. I don't know. It's it's uh, up in the air. So, with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm going to do a quick run, come back down, cool off because it's fucking hot. And yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys are doing all right during this time. Uh, Arizona's starting to open back up, so that's a plus. Can't wait to finally go out to dinner with the wife. And just enjoy some, some time spending money around town, because the places are open. So, you all have a good one. I am out.